can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the real value of x that satisfies this equation. 20 raised to the power of x squared over 4 raised to the power of x equals 5. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Given this equation, 20 raised to the power of x squared over 4 raised to the power of x equals 5, our goal is to solve for the real value of x that satisfies this equation. Alright, so let's begin. So how do we solve this kind of problem? First thing we need to do is to take the logarithm to the base 20 on both sides. Now your question is why you choose base 20 instead of base 10. Now the purpose is because we have here 20 and we know that 20 is just 5 times 4. This is the big number so let's, why not, let's use the base 20. Alright, so by the way you can use base 4 or base 5 if you want and still you get the same result. Now using this, the left hand side of our equation we will use some logarithmic identities. So if we have logarithm of a over c to the base of b, this can be written as logarithm of a to the base of b minus logarithm of c to the base of b. So the left hand side of our equation can be written as logarithm of 20 raised to the power of x squared to the base 20 minus logarithm of 4 raised to the power of x to the base 20 equals logarithm of 5 to the base 20. Now at this point, we will use another law of logarithm. Take note, when we have logarithm of c raised to the power of a to the base of b, it must be equal to a multiplied by logarithm of c to the base of b. So now, in this term, we can pull out this exponent x squared and put this x squared in the front. We can do the same thing to this exponent x. Now, Another identity that we can use is when we have logarithm of b to the base of b, we have the same number here and here, and this must be equal to 1. So logarithm of 20 to the base 20, using this identity, we can say that it must be equal to 1. So we have here x squared minus x times logarithm of 4 to the base 20 equals logarithm of 5 to the base 20. Now let's equate this to 0. Alright, we have a quadratic equation but involving logarithm. So how do we factor this equation? Alright, this is hard to factor but take note that this 4, we can write this 4 as 20 over 5. And using again the law of logarithm a while ago, we can rewrite this part, logarithm of 20 over 5 to the base 20 as follows. We have logarithm of 20 to the base 20 minus logarithm of 5 to the base of 5. So using this identity. And again, we can now have logarithm of 20 to the base 20 and we know this is just 1. Now let's distribute negative x to 1 and negative logarithm of 5 to the base 20. If we do that, we get x squared minus x plus x times logarithm of 5 to the base 20 minus logarithm of 5 to the base 20. Now, this is now easy to factor because using the first two terms, we can now factor out x and sure enough, we get x multiplied by x minus 1. And on this third and fourth term, we can factor out logarithm of 5 to the base 20. If we do that, we get logarithm of 5 to the base 20 multiply by x minus 1. And take note, we can now factor out, this is, we have parentheses here, we can now factor out x minus 1 because this is the common factor. And if we do that, we get x minus 1 multiplied by x plus logarithm of 5 to the base 20 equals 0. And since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus logarithm of 5 to the base 20 equals 
0. And using the first equation, if we add 1 on both sides, we get that the first value of x, the real value of x that satisfies the equation must be x equals 1. And using observation, you can see this value on the spot, all right? But the second value, we cannot see this using observation. So subtract logarithm of 5 to the base 20 on both sides, and you get that another this another real value of x that satisfies the equation, which is negative logarithm of 5 to the base 20. And that is the two possible values of x, real value of x that satisfies this equation. 20 raised to the power of x squared over 4 raised to x equals 5. And as always, we are done.